So hello, how's everybody today? Uh, we're going to talk about how do I make you, which uh, I'm saying <laughs> could potentially be Linda's most rocking song. Uh, it came from the album Mad Love, which was Linda's attempt to reinvent herself. Uh, this was 1980, by the way, and uh, she recorded three Elvis Costello songs and three songs by the Cretones. I think that was the uh, the correct thing to do at the time because that's where the excitement was. It's in uh, New Wave and, and punk rock. People probably don't, I know I don't remember this album as being one of her more successful albums, but it was. It went platinum. Uh, I think it, it debuted at number five or something on the charts, which was a record at the time for a female artist. Anyway, yeah, it was a big hit. Um, now, and she also hired the Cretones uh, guitar singer, songwriter, to play in her band for the recording, and that's who's uh, playing the guitar parts, or at least the, uh, the lead type parts on this song. So, one of the things I need to mention is that they tuned down a half step to record this song. Uh, if you listen to the album, it sounds like they're playing this. <laughs> A flat minor down to an F sharp minor down to an open E. However, and you can play it that way. It works great that way. That's the way I play it with my Linda Ronstadt tribute band. But what they're actually playing on the recording is they're tuned down a half step and they're playing in the key of A. And there are certain things you can only do them if you're playing tuned down in the key of A. Like this chord, for example. That form of an F, that's not going to work if you're, uh, unless you're in the key of A minor. And this form of a G. But we'll get to that. Just if there are things you can't play unless you're tuned down playing the key of A minor. There's also a lead thing that won't work. So let's, uh, let's get into the nuts and bolts of this thing. Really fun song to play. Uh, starts off with a really cool drum intro. You might be tempted to uh, just play the song your own way. I, I think it's good to know how they played it on the recording, but you know, if you get around to playing it, just do it your own way. Have fun with it. Okay, let's look at the verse here. Uh, starts off on an A minor. You can just use the regular A minor bar chord. Put your head on a pillow when you're fast asleep. Then it goes to this thing. How can I make you? How can I make you? How can I make you? Now this is a, uh, it's a form of a G chord that has no thirds in it. So it's this G here on the D string, fifth fret. Then an open G. This D note right here, third fret of the B string, and then a high G, third fret of the E string. Very, uh, it's a really a chord that rings out. I use it all the time. You can add this uh, low G with your thumb if you want. Really rings out. Anyway, and I'm not hearing, uh, you could use a, a bar chord, a G bar chord, but I'm not hearing that note in there uh, on the recording. Anyway, then you go uh, to this chord, which is which uh, what it really is is it's kind of that Hendrix chord from Castles Made of Sand that that you can move up and down the neck. Um, in this case. It's in the F position. You play an F note here on the third fret of the D string. Open G. C on the B string, first fret. And uh, a G on the high E string. And once again, you can add that, that low uh, F with your thumb if you want. And then it goes to this, which is just a C. 
just to see with a G on the high, uh, use your little finger to play a G note on the high E string. So the whole thing is like this. You put your hand on the pillow and your fingers still sleep. Now how do I make you? How do I make you? How do I make you dream about me? Let's have a look at the bridge. It's like this. So that's just a, an E chord open position to a C. That was just F G back to the open E chord, and then. Okay, pretty easy. The bridge starts off. And an E, we're going to use all, all fifth string bar chords on this one, which no doubt you know. And you might expect this E to be minor in the key of C, but, uh, but it's not. It's major. Okay, so uh, I'm sure you were able to pick up on that. It's just E major, C major, F, G, back to E major, and then F, G. The solo, the solo you're going to start up here on the uh, 12th fret because it's played over the bridge and uh, the rhythm guitar is going to be playing an E. So you come in with. It was very common in punk and power pop to play this kind of lick. That's, it's just you're bending this uh, 14th fret on the high G, excuse me, on the G string. You're bending the 14th fret on the G string. Then you're playing the uh, 12th fret B, 12th fret E. And that, I think one reason that developed uh, is because it cuts through the band so well. When you're playing loud, raucous music, something like that really cuts through. Anything on these high two strings, really cuts through and that was <laughs> that was kind of a critical thing for that kind of music so anyway we start off with that now that you're playing over a C chord so you're playing this fragment of a C eighth fret of the B and E string And this is, is pure Chuck Berry at the, the end of that. These two notes, these two notes, that's on the, uh, the G and the B string, 10th fret. And then this, hammering on 8th to 9th fret. Okay, uh, then we go down to you're playing over the part of the bridge where it goes from the F to the G. And uh, it's hard to tell what he's doing there. I think it might just be. It could be. But I think it's more likely that it's down here. And then. Um, playing over the F chord. That's that similar, that's the same as the opening lick, only you're playing it down here on an F 
on the first fret. Then the, as the chord goes up to G, you're doing a similar kind of thing, but you end it differently. Okay, it's this thing. But then you go. And you let that sustain out as the verse starts. Now at the uh, end of the song, the outro is also very simple. It's just an A minor and a C, like this. Dream about me. Dream about me. Like that, and, uh, and that's how the song ends. And of course, the outro, uh, same as the uh, other guitar, it's just A minor and C, we're not really playing a full bar chord for these chords for the most part. It's more like... And there's kind of a slide-up thing going on on the A minor. There's uh, actually various things going on. There's, on the C chord, there's something like this. Adding that D note, the high D note. <clears throat> and actually you can, you know, I mean, you don't necessarily want to play it exactly like the record, do you? You can, you can add little uh, things that you might feel like throwing in there. Whatever. Uh, it's it's kind of raucous at that point and kind of everybody's going crazy So play what you want there. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson Go ahead and subscribe if you did if you got something out of it And I'll see you next time